So yeah, it, it all started with one image. Like I really was obsessed with the idea of just getting one man sleeping on the bottom of the ocean and I painted it and I wrote a million poems about it. The, the ways in which you completely um, like aggrandize your own pain is uh, something that I was interested in because if you're not inside of that, it's seemingly really normal and mundane. But when you're inside of it, it's like you're in a graphic novel. You're like, I'm, I know that I can breathe and I know that I can just like drink water and live like a human and be amongst everyone else, but it just is not working and I can't absorb the essentials. Um, so I wanted to just do like two perspectives of the same day, which is like his completely saturated and just like waterlogged and like stifled. And then um, basically from the outside, he just kind of looks pathetic and like regular. I've been thinking about this guy on the ocean floor for like four years, maybe even longer. It took me like a lot of time to get this shit together. I kind of needed somebody to like light a fire under my ass because I was like, I don't know. I have like these pictures in my head and I really like working off kind of like an outline because you have to leave a lot of room for the unknown but it's hard to get people on board without conveying what it's gonna be in the end and I'm really not result oriented. It's really like more about the experience and uh, we developed it for like, you know, a really long time. I would say like talked about it for a couple years but in the end probably worked on it for like six months intensively. I, I really wanted to capture a wave that would never break and just sort of like grow and grow and grow and grow and be really unnerving. And uh, we hired this really incredible underwater photographer out of Sydney um, and he has a camera that shoots a thousand frames per second. So, you know, we sifted through hours of like waves and like looking at the sun through waves and, and, and then that, that little segment just like terrified me. So it was definitely like the way to start the movie. And it was ambitious too. It's definitely not like, um, uh, it's not a small movie. It's not like actors in a room talking to each other, which you would definitely expect an actor to like start off with. Um, and myself too, I was like, yeah, uh, why did I make my first experience like so difficult? But I'm like a little masochistic, so. I mean, I've been wanting to make movies since I was like a tiny kid and I really don't like draw a huge distinction between acting and directing or any, like for that matter, like honestly anything on a movie set, if, if it's cohesive and people are in it for the right reasons, you divvy up responsibility, but when it comes down to it, you're all doing the same thing. Like I wanna make movies, so like acting, it's kind of the same deal. It's epic, I mean Thanks, it really dude. is. Fuck yeah. Did, did you show it to like Olivier or? Yeah I did, yeah, I screened it in Paris really recently and I was like, I sat next, and he doesn't speak a whole lot, but I, can, I know him and I feel him and he liked it and I was like, thank God. Like dying, literally sat there the whole time like, and I was gauging his every single twitch. And um, at the end of it, he was like, oh no, you have a choice. Like you have a choice. You can, you can do what you want. I was like, oh, I mean, that's like the best thing you could possibly say. I worked with a really talented and creative person who was able to um, apply the style of a painting to our movie. Originally, I really thought that I was gonna have to rely heavily on visual effects and it just ended up being kind of like not right and it didn't fit. Uh, poetically as totally like lame as that sounds, like as nerdy as that sounds. 